Yeah, definitely. As long as I'm out there, you know, helping my team win. And uh, it just feels good, man, to put in a lot of work and finally see it pays off, and uh, it feels good. Because we were talking to Coach, and if all these injuries hadn't happened, you would have received the opportunity that you got. Yeah, you know, unfortunately it happened, but, you know, professional sports, it happens all the time, you know. Uh, guys go down, get injured, and you just got to step up and try to fill their shoes. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to do the best that I can and help us get some wins. What's been the most fun of this for you? Oh, I ain't going to lie, just uh, getting my name called in the starting lineup in the Staples Center, uh, that's a big accomplishment for me and my family. And, uh, you know, sometimes at night it's what you dream about, and it, it came true. Were there times when you were thinking, you know, you weren't going to get off the bench with this team? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, like I, I said yesterday, uh, some days it's better than others. Some days you can be uh, positive and feel good and upbeat, and then some days it's like, man, am I ever going to get a shot? But like I said, I just try to stay positive and, you know, continue to work and be prepared for when they did call my name. Earl, have you heard, have you heard from former teammates and, and you know, players, uh, maybe high school teammates even, uh, about, you know, how you've been doing this? Yeah, a few of my teammates from former teams I've been on uh, just telling me that they're glad to see me, you know, get an opportunity and that I uh, just keep going and make the best of it. Okay, man, a lot of your teammates, like you said, they're not surprised with what you've been able to do just after seeing you in practice. Like, what do you think you've shown them before you got this opportunity? Well, before this point, the practice was my game, so it was a lot of frustration, you know. Uh, I didn't really let the guys take a day off, you know. I was just, uh, you know, treating it like a game, playing as hard as I can, just trying to get the coach attention. And uh, that's what they was talking about when they said, you know, I was doing it in practice. So I was just playing with a lot of energy and, you know, just trying to get the coach attention. You know, because any, of all of the different any... positions you were playing, like, who did you usually go up against in practice? Oh, uh, man, uh, everybody from uh, Meta to Powell to Antoine, uh, you know, coach, you know, sometimes they don't practice, so, you know, sometimes it'll be against Devin or whoever you wanted me to go against. You have a reputation as a basketball junkie, but what about you off the court? What can you tell us if we get to know you a little bit? Uh, man, off the court, I'm mostly with my kids, man. My wife, we, we're going so much, you know, I like to spend a lot of time with my daughter and son and, uh, you know, catch up, you know, see what they learn in school and see what my son done picked up because, you know, once you go on the road for seven days, you come back, they do something new. So you kind of miss out on a lot. What are the ages of your kids? Uh, my son is one my daughter is three. What are their names? Kanaya and Nazir. Girl, you got a birthday coming up, I think, right on Thursday. Got any birthday plans for that? And then uh, you're having a big game that day. Yeah, all I, <laughs> all I would like is a win and uh, maybe some cake, man. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> were, were, were you insulted when George Carl picked you off the bench to shoot those free throws? Yeah, I mean, uh, when, after the game, I didn't realize that he, you know, he picked me because I knew the rule, but it hasn't happened in so long. I was like, seriously, did he do that? So uh, I was kind of insulted, but I'm glad I was ready and knocked him down. You know, it's like a kick in his face. He didn't, he didn't see the board that he hit 92% of them. Yeah, I guess he probably seen how many DMPs I had, and he'd probably say, uh, he probably took the least free throw, so let me call him. <laughs> hey, Kobe said you guys sit next to him on the plane rides and things like that. What did you learn from him? And was he giving you advice along the way? Did he think that you were going to step up in the situation? Uh, I didn't think he thought that uh, it would come like this, you know, with the guys getting hurt, me playing so much minutes. But he would always tell me, just be ready, man. Uh, you're going to get your chance. And uh, sometimes he'll ask me if I'm ready, and I tell him, I know I can help you win, and I'm ready to play whenever the coach puts me in. Well, how frustrating was it? You didn't draft where you did, and you went to China, came home, and then just where you're at right now. How frustrating was just the entire process? It's real frustrating because, you know, you got expectations with yourself. You got friends and family that call you that don't know anything about basketball, that bug you. And, uh, you know, sometimes it, it gets to you. And, you know, I just had to just continue to be positive and uh, just stay working. Where does strength come from? Uh, basically, my mom, you know, uh, she always put strong faith in me you know, to believe in God and you know if you live another day it's an opportunity so every day I wake up I just try to take it as a day to work and get better and eventually you know if it wasn't here at some other team I was going to get my shot. What about the way the fans have embraced you? I mean you come off the court they're cheering for you, you name called they're cheering for you but what about the way the Laker fans have embraced you? Uh, I'm loving it I think they just like my energy you know how I'm coming out playing hard and you know it's exciting for us you know for uh, a kid that hasn't been playing and 
the name hasn't been called for them to just put me in the game and they're just showing love, so it feels real good. What type of nicknames do the guys have for you right now? Uh, they all just call me easy, man. That's it. Uh, a few of you guys call me the Sandy thing, which I don't really like, but uh, <laughs> I don't really have no nickname.